Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Santiago Alzate, and um, for my final project, I implemented a hybrid cryptographic scheme. The RSA uh, combined with the AES. So today, I want to start by explaining what a hybrid a cryptographic scheme is and how it works. Uh, and then I will show you how to how I implemented the RSA algorithm in Python, and then I will talk about uh, I will talk about a crypt, uh, Py crypto DOM library, uh, which contains an AES implementation. Uh, then I will go through the hybrid implementation, and finally I. I run the code to see the hybrid crypto system in action. So let's begin. Let's begin with the hybrid definition. So a hybrid crypto system is one which combines the convenience of the public key crypto system with the effic efficiency of a, a symmetric key crypto system. So, how does it work? Uh, this is a good illustration of how it, how it works. So, to encrypt a message addressed to a list in a hybrid hybrid crypto system, but does the following. So, first, he obtains a list public key. Second, generates a fresh fresh symmetric key for the data encapsulation scheme third encrypts the message under the data in encapsulation scheme using the symmetric key use generated four encrypt this symmetric key under the key encapsulation scheme using a least public key then send both of these encryption to allies a list to decrypt this hybrid cipher text, Alice does the following. Use her private key to decrypt the symmetry key contained in the key encapsulation segment, and then use this symmetry key to decrypt the, the message contained in the data encapsulation segment. So now let's talk about the RSA implementation. So here, here is the RSA algorithm. So the, this algorithm has three main uh, parts. So the first one is the key generation. The second is the encryption, and the third is the decryption. So let's start with the key generation. So I first implemented the key generation uh, following the professor's algorithm explained in class. So the first step is generate two large random primes, P and Q, they both same size. So I used, uh, I, I, I create a, another uh, function called generate prime that I will show you later. Uh, so I use that uh, function to create uh, to generate P and Q. Uh, then the second step is compute N and, and five. So N is equal to P times Q and five is P minus one times Q minus one. So the third step is select a random integer e, uh, e greater than one and less than uh, five, such that uh, e and five are coprimes. So I'm using a random uh, library in Python to generate e, uh, and then I also made a, a function to calculate the 
GCD of two numbers. So I'm using GCD to to verify if both uh, numbers are co-primes. Co co so I'm I'm using a while loop to verify if G is uh, different than one. If it does, it keeps generating uh, uh, E random number until uh, until G is equal to one. Okay, uh, the first step is uh, use a extended a Euclidean algorithm to compute another unique integer d, d greater, greater than one and less than five, such that a em, uh, e times d is congruent to one mode a uh, five. So e and five are multiplicative inverse. I, I, I'm also create a, a function to to calculate this uh, multiplicative inverse. Okay, the step five is uh, returning uh, returning public. Uh, and private keys. Keys. Okay. Uh, right. The other two functions are encrypt. Uh, so the encrypt re uh, receive uh, the public key and the plain text, and then. Uh, we are in the third step, we compute C equal, uh, we compute C, which is M to E to the E mod N. And then I'm returning C. And in the description, um, the arguments are a private key and the cyber text. And I'm, calcula and I'm calculating a M. All right, so the RSA auxiliary functions. So these are the functions that I just show you that I, I use to calculate the GCD and the multiplicative inverse. Uh, so in the GCD, I'm using the Euclidean algorithm. And uh, for the multiplicative inverse, I'm using the Euclidean extended algorithm. All right, I'm also using a function. Uh, I just uh, I also made a function to generate the prime, and that function also use another function called is prime to to verify if the numbers are that it creates are primes. And also, I use the Miller Rabin uh, algorithm to verify if the number is prime. All right, so now um, let's see what is uh, this um, crypt, uh, uh, Pi Crypto. CryptoDump a Python library. So this library in Python is a very convenient library because it has like almost all of the uh, crypto systems already implemented. I know that this is not the idea of this class, but uh, I'm still working on the full implementation of AES uh, algorithm. I hope I can finish by the end of the the semester. But for now, I'm just using this uh, library and I'm using the AES AES function of this uh, library. 
uh, for more information about this uh, library, you can go to this link and there is a lot of documentation about it. Okay, for this AES uh, function, uh, AES uh, algorithm, I use uh, made two functions, one to encrypt and another to dec decrypt the message. Okay, uh, now the hybrid implementation. So I'm following, uh, I'm following the, the the explanation on how it works that I, I, I explained before. So first, um, the first I'm generating a. Uh, are as a public and private kits uh, using the key generator and then I'm generating uh, the AES symmetry key. I'm using a secret secret uh, library to create a, the symmetry key. All right, oh, sorry. Um, all right, and then I'm encrypting the message uh, using the symmetric key. Right, and then um, I'm encrypting the symmetric key. I'm using the, I'm encrypting the symmetry key with the RSA algorithm. All right, so now to decrypt the message, we have to first decrypt the ASS, A -A -E -S symmetry key, and then pass that uh, decrypt decrypted key to I'm sorry and then okay use that key to decrypt the message so let's see how it works let's run the the code Okay. All right. So how you see, right, so here you can see that uh, you already create a, a a public and private key and also create a symmetry key. So my symmetry key is this one. All right, so let's en let's enter a message. So let's type, I made it. Yeah. And then we can see here the ciphertext. The eight is ciphertext and then we also here we encrypting the symmetry key and this is the encrypted symmetry key all right so now we are decrypting the symmetry key and we got the our original key so if you see my decrypt my my decrypted key is the same as my original key that's good and then now let's and um, now is decrypting the message which is i made it all right that's everything i have thank you very